Hello and welcome. I'm Shannon, the Daily DIYer, and for today's project, I'm so excited to show you how to make this faux chalkboard interchangeable picture holder. Stay tuned. Okay, let's get started with today's project. First, I went ahead and cut down my wood. It is 13 inches wide and 11 inches tall. I sanded it and went ahead and stained it and also added a picture hanger to the back. Um, if you want, you can save this to the very end or you can do it before you get started in the front. It's just kind of your preference. But I went ahead and did that for you today. Um, the first step is we're actually going to paint a uh, rectangle on the left side for our saying. So to do that I just have a ruler and a pencil and you kind of want to just find where the center of your board is and work in that left section. Um, and make some marks as to about where your your rectangle where you want to put your rectangle so I'm gonna go ahead and make my marks and then I'll go back in with my painters tape and paint off a frame before we paint our section black so let's get started with that just uh, measured in one half an inch and then I made another mark at five and a half inches so you'll have a five inch wide uh, rectangle and then I measured up one inch from the top and the bottom so those are good places to put your marks but it will depend on the size of your saying and the vinyl that you're going to be adding but um, for mine it is Let's see, five inches wide and nine inches tall. So once you have your area marked off with your pencil, you're going to go back in with your painter's tape and um, tape off the outer area. paintbrush and just paint this inside area. Okay, now we now that we have our black rectangle painted on, we actually did two coats of the black and let it dry really well. And now we're going to remove the black or the painter's tape to reveal our rectangle. there's that. It gives it a nice chalkboard look without it actually being a chalkboard. Now we're going to go ahead and um, apply our vinyl sticker onto the front. I've used a white vinyl. I went ahead and cut that out with my silhouette um, and put the or, uh, vinyl transfer on the top. And we're just going to apply this right to the center of that black rectangle. Once 
you have your vinyl onto your wood, we're going to go ahead and dress this up a little bit. These are just upholstery tacks. And if you have a pair of needle nose pliers, this actually is a nice little tip that makes hammering them into the wood a little easier. You just take your um, I, you just take your upholstery tack and hold it with the pliers and hold it with your pliers as you are hammering. just going to do that with all four of your corners with your upholstery tacks. So we went ahead and hammered in our upholstery tacks in all four of the corners um, and now we're going to go ahead and add these um, binder style clips I guess you could call them. Um, I just got them with the scrapbooking in the scrapbooking section um, of the craft store. They have holes in the top so what we are going to do is use another upholstery tack, place it through one, just one of the holes in the binder clip um, towards the back, and we're just going to hammer that right into our wood, and the upholstery tack will actually hold your clip onto the wood. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll come back to show you our finished So product. we just took our upholstery tacks and tacked our binder clips down. So now they are easily um, opened and you can um, put your pictures in here, just slide them right in, slide them right out and they're interchangeable that way. Thanks so much for joining me for this project. I really loved it. A client of mine saw it on a Shanty to Chic website and wanted me to create, recreate it for her. You can actually go to their website and they have a printable that you can print off to place here instead of doing the vinyl and the paint, which would be a little easier. Um, but I wanted to give it a more personalized look for my client. Um, but I will link their site below. Thumbs up this video if it inspired you. Hit that subscribe button. We do new DIY videos here every Monday through Friday. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below for me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.